This is Zach Hampel outside US Cellular Field in Chicago. The stadium is not that old. It was built in the early 1990s, but it kind of looks and feels old. The layout of the place is kind of good for ball hawking, but what's annoying is that it doesn't open until 5.40 p.m. for 7.10 p.m. night games. So you only get in 90 minutes early. You pretty much miss all of White Sox batting practice. The outfield seats, pretty good. It's pretty expansive. You can easily run from left field to right field for righties and lefties. The bullpens are kind of in the way. In left field, the bullpen is kind of tucked down the line so it doesn't swallow up as many home runs as the bullpen in right field. Man, that thing is positioned in the worst possible spot. Now, I said that the stadium only opens 90 minutes early. I do have some special early access coming my way today. I'm gonna be hanging out with a guy known as Big Cat from Barstool Sports in Chicago. And he knows some people, he's got some connections. Evidently, there will be some passes for us to get inside the stadium early, and we might get to check out White Sox batting practice. All right, we are out here at US Cellular Field to see the White Sox play the Angels. I have the man, the myth, the legend, foul ball guy, home run guy, Zach Hample. We are here to catch some BP, catch some home runs, catch some foul balls. Heads up, heads up. There's one in the seats. Man, this is fun. Getting a little jump on everybody, getting inside the stadium for a few extra minutes of batting practice. Check this out. There's a ball Where's down Vega? in the gap. Okay. Right down in there. And that is perfect for the glove trick. So I'm gonna set it up, lower my glove down in there. Hope I don't get screamed at by security. And there it is. Uh oh, watch out. Oh, it's in the bag! Well, what bag is this? Zach's, it counts as his. What is that? It says it ran yeah, in the bag. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Even your it bag right is the catching bag. balls. No, no, that's your property. Right your I'm not taking it. Zach, that went right in your bag. Your Even your bag is catching balls. When you're, your bag. When you're you not working, yeah. it went right in your bag. You're kidding me. No, that's, hey, right hey, that's just the foul ball guy magic right there. One nice thing about being in left field today is that both starting pitchers are left-handed. So a lot of guys are going to be batting from the right side. That's short. But all the switch hitters are mostly going to be batting right-handed. I'll toss it in for you. Hey, want to play catch? I normally don't like to switch gear in front of the visiting team, but I kind of got caught up in conversation with my guys here from Chicago. Let's see that trout standing power. So it's 535, and the Angels are halfway through their first group, and the stadium still isn't open to fans with regular tickets. Right in his row. I mean, my strategy with poo holes, which is really just a strategy in general, paid off. If a real power hitter comes up, I'm gonna move back. It's always less crowded as you move farther away from the field. So I don't know how many rows back I was for poo holes, maybe 10 or 12, or maybe even 15. And he just clobbered one to left center. Judged it pretty well, moved down a few rows, cut over, didn't pick the spot perfectly, so it fell a bit short of where I thought it was, and I had to lean over a, a bench and I caught it, so that felt nice. There are two lefties in this group, so I want to give right field a shot, so let's do this. You gotta recognize when a section is used up, and this is just, this is not gonna happen right now. I'm gonna try to help this guy get a ball. Right here, 
I believe the man who threw it to you was Steve Solis, the bullpen coach. Bullpen coach. So right he's, here, he's wearing a jersey. That's all that matters. <laughs> in any other stadium in the major leagues, security would tell me to get off the chair. This place is so chill. If they, if they didn't wait until 5.40 p.m. to open the gates, it would really be one of the better places for ball hawking, I think. What's up, Trouty? Oh, no, there you go. Yeah. You recognize him. I've seen him three times this year, once at Yankee Stadium, once at the Home Run Derby, and now here in Chicago, and every time, He's seen me and acknowledged me. He threw me a ball at Yankee Stadium. What? So it's definitely tempting to sit behind the dugout, get a third out ball, get a foul ball. You know, I feel like I could get anywhere from one to three balls during this game behind the first base dugout. But. You're, have, try, yeah. you're trying not to be foul ball guy anymore, you're home I'm, run ball. Right, and I'm trying not to be toss up guy either. And I just feel like with Trout and two holes in the lineup, why do you why would you sit in foul territory? I mean, you gotta be out in the outfield trying to make something big happen. So after BP I was down at the Angels dugout. I helped Big Cat snag the first baseball ever of his life and uh, I got my sixth ball of the day and then a bunch of people came and found me there was a kid who brought a copy of each of my three books and other kids who wanted baseball sign some folks that wanted selfies and that's kind of how it's been since I snagged A-Rod's 3000th hit a couple months ago at Yankee Stadium you know prior to that I was getting recognized at every game I went to and now that I got that ball and I did all the TV stuff and it was just it was like a media frenzy for a couple weeks the number of people that recognize me is kind of insane, and it's fun. It's a, it's, it can be a little bit of a drag when batting practice is happening, and I'm trying to focus on the batter, and I picked a spot because I have some empty space in my row, and then three or four people come and stand right by me. That's a little bit tough, but overall, it's just been great talking to so many people and, and meeting people everywhere I go. Today was an interesting day. The attendance for this game was listed a little bit above 17,000, which is not much at all. And yet it felt kind of crowded. So it was one of those games where probably most of the 17,000 actually showed up compared to when they say it's 30,000 and you look around and it's like, yeah, right. So it was surprisingly crowded once the gates opened at 5.40 p.m. I was in the stadium a little bit before that thanks to a connection with a friend who's a season ticket holder. So he got me in, I snagged a few balls early, caught an Albert Pujols home run during BP while it was pretty crowded, got a toss up at the Angels dugout after BP, and that was it. I felt like I could have worked the dugout maybe and gotten a third out ball, maybe a foul squibber to the first or third base coach, but I really wanted to sit in the outfield. I was with Big Cat from Barstool Sports, and uh, we just ate a huge helmet of ice cream, and kind of shot the breeze a bit and enjoyed the game and it was fun to sit out there and hope that Trout and Pujols would hit one in my direction. They didn't. I tried for an umpire ball at the end. He didn't give any balls away. Tried to run over to the Sox dugout. There was just no action. So, you know, I it was a weird day like I said, but pretty good. Six balls overall. Gave a couple away to kids and my lifetime total is now 8,340.